I'm actually going to start with this outfit here and not because I have pieces that look like this actually quite the opposite I have nothing in my closet that looks like either of these two pieces that she's wearing However, I do have similar colors and so that's kind of one of my Personal hacks when I'm styling outfits that I see on Pinterest because you know more than not You don't have exactly the pieces that these girls have in the photos, but maybe they're similar colors silhouettes textures fabrics whatever it may be that you already have so for this specific outfit I have a green sequin skirt which is completely different than these green pants that she is wearing and I know I have some black tops that we can work into this outfit so we're mostly just kind of taking the color palette from this pin and going to use that for our inspiration today so okay let's get digging into our closet here this is quite different but it's also really similar to the picture i can't really tell if she's wearing shoes in this photo and there's no bag so this is where we get to kind of go rogue and do our own thing so i'm thinking for this outfit because I, I want to dress her down because she's kind of casual in this photo It looks like you know, she's just going out for lunch or something So that's kind of the inspiration that I'm going to take for this outfit So for styling, I feel like shoulder bags have a lot more of a casual feel to them You know, it's not like a small evening bag or anything It just seems like this is the kind of purse that you would grab to run all of the errands that you have in your day-to-day -day life So I think we're going to go for this bag and then for shoes it has just kind of like a knit almost texture here it's a small heel but these are some pretty casual shoes that i think will just kind of dress down the skirt a little bit we're trying to tone this baby down because she's just kind of a showstopper so we're trying to chill her out and for sunglasses i actually got these dior sunglasses used from ebay and i am so highly obsessed with them i feel like they are just the ultimate cool girl sunglasses and oh i'm obsessed i one million percent think this is a pinterest worthy outfit so okay yeah we did it outfit number one check The next outfit that we are going to recreate is uh, this one right here and I really like this one just because it's it's super simple it just seems like the ultimate casual summer outfit so we're going to grab a knit sweater some shorts and some boots those are the foundation and luckily I do have a sweater that's in a similar color so we'll be as spot-on as possible with this one I feel like this is as close as I can possibly get to recreating exactly the outfit and I think I did a pretty dang good job I do have this blue little sweater I got this from I think Hollister at the beginning of summer and then these blue little jean shorts which I got from Princess Polly I do not have cowboy boots but I have on these tall white boots that just create the same vibe so it works and her purse is obviously different than what I chose to grab I chose to grab this saddle style bag that has some braiding which I feel like gives the same vibe as the braiding kind of like leathery basket knit purse that she has going on so I do not have brown sunglasses but I feel like some sunglasses that will give a similar vibe to the ones that she has in the photo are these little Ray-Bans that I have and they have blue in the lens which I think is cute with like the blue sweater so okay outfit number two wow this is going so good I feel like sometimes when I'm recreating Pinterest outfits it doesn't normally go this well but we're off to a great start nice job <laughs> The next outfit we're gonna do is another safe one. And I say safe, meaning that I already have really similar pieces in my current wardrobe. So she's got on these white little cargo shorts, which I think are so cute. And I happen to have a similar pair and a black t-shirt with a cute little Jacquemus mini bag. So again, we can't really see too many of the accessories other than she's got some bracelets on. So we're going to kind of make things up for shoes and sunglasses, but let's get the foundation of the outfit on. I don't have a white bag that is 
a close match to the one that she has. So I think I'm just gonna go for the bag that we used in the last outfit. I feel like this pin kind of gave like a sporty vibe. And so that's also why I chose the top that I did. It's totally open in the back. This was actually a dance costume from when I was in high school, but I kept the top just cause it's honestly so sick. So for shoes, I have on these actual vintage Gucci boots that I got off of Poshmark. And I think that that will just kind of like, I don't know, like jazz this up a little bit because I feel pretty casual up top, but I feel like with, you know, a little heeled boot moment, it'll just kind of elevate this look a little bit and kind of make it feel a little bit more polished. I think we're gonna kind of keep jewelry decently simple, but I'm gonna put on a statement bracelet. I have this one that I got at Express. And for sunglasses, we're gonna go back to the Dior shades. They're just an instant winner always. I feel like they literally make every single one of my outfits look so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to like check myself out in the mirror just to make sure I look like a cool girl before I say I look like a cool girl and I actually don't. I am obsessed with how this one came out. I actually really, really love this outfit. I personally don't think I ever would have put this outfit together on my own, oh, which is such like a cool thing about Pinterest. Like you get to just explore your closet from a different perspective. It's so fun. I always feel like I have so much more clothes in my closet after I scroll through Pinterest and get a little bit of inspiration and then take what I see online and see how it applies with my current closet. So, okay, I love how this one came out. It's so cute. This next one I think is a really great example of taking an inspiration and seeing what is in your closet that is similar, which I mean, I guess is pretty much every single outfit we are doing, but this one I have something incredibly close to this, but it is also very different at the same time. She has, it looks like it's a Dior set that she has on, but it's just this kind of logo mania print with a button down, some tall black boots and a black bag. I just think that this was like the cutest dress. Honestly, I am like a logo hoe. I really like the aesthetic of the pattern that it makes. I got this dress from Urban Revivo. These are M's all over it, but it like sort of looks like the Gucci logo a little bit from a distance. I'm gonna wear my Gucci boots with this one. How did she do her hair? Okay, so she's got like a slicked back pony and I feel like that's a part of the outfit. Okay, I went for a slightly more messy version mostly because the slicked back look doesn't flatter my face as much and two, I have pool party and music festival in my hair right now so it's just, it's just gonna be a mess regardless. She is wearing some kind of like aviator style sunglasses and I have these ones which I think are similar and I love the hexagon shape of sunglasses. I think that's like one of my personal favorite sunglass shapes. And she has like a big tote bag. So I think we're gonna go back to that black bag that we used in a previous outfit. Nailed the photo, first of all, or nailed the outfit in the photo, but this is such a fit. I'm not gonna lie, I literally like just quit my job. And so now I'm like low key jobless, but this is making me feel like I own at least like three companies and I'm on my way to buy out my next one. <laughs> I will just live in my fantasy land that I am employed right now and wear this outfit as I walk down the street acting like I own it. This next look I would say is definitely outside of my personal style comfort zone. I don't know if I've ever worn an outfit like this, which is kind of funny because this seems like a generally standard simple outfit, but it looks like she's got a white tank or a t-shirt, a blazer, that little white Jack Moose uh, purse from like the last outfit too, which is funny, some denim shorts and colorful boots. So one of the reasons I chose to incorporate this outfit into this video is because I have these insane hot pink tall boots that I have not worn very many times because I'm not quite sure how to style them. So I wanted to see if 
in recreating this outfit, I can make those boots work for me. I think I figured it out. So I am doing something a little bit different than the photo. I'm still wearing jean shorts, but I chose to go with this black pair that has kind of a asymmetrical waist uh, just because we already did something with blue denim and I also find blue denim really boring and I just wanted to make this a little bit more my personal aesthetic and style. I have on this bodysuit, which is like my favorite white tank top of all time. And then I went for a blazer in a kind of like a grayish stone taupe color almost. I chose to go for this saddlebag. We got our hot pink boots on, and I think the last thing to tie this outfit all together, just because I want to incorporate just one more piece of black just to make the shorts feel a little bit more cohesive with the outfit, we're just gonna go for the black sunnies. And I actually am pleasantly surprised with how this outfit came out. I originally didn't think I was going to like this that much when I started putting it all together, but then once I got it all on. I actually was pleasantly surprised with how much I liked this one. So, wow, this one's a great one in my opinion. I am here for it. We are gonna do one final outfit to wrap up this video and this one just kind of screams like, summer night to me. So I thought it would be a nice way to finish off. She has this incredibly beautiful skirt. Oh my gosh, I actually wanna know where she got it because I want one myself. I have a similar one, it's not as lovely though, but she has paired that with a, it looks like just like a white t-shirt and we can't really see too much else of the outfit in terms of like shoes. It looks like she has a little bit of jewelry on. So I, I have something similar and I'm not quite sure how it will actually look on, but let's just put it on and see what happens. So I kind of flip flopped colors in comparison to her. My skirt is like a satiny white one and then I went for this nude t-shirt. I just have on a little nude bralette underneath as well and this one's so cute it's got little stars all over it and i threw on some hoop earrings and i did my hair different than she did in the photo i just tied it back and if you look super super close in the photo it looks like she's wearing tennis shoes but i don't think tennis shoes match the vibe of like what i'm going for with this outfit so i just have on some nude sandals honestly when in doubt just wear a nude shoe it goes with everything because this kind of feels a little bit more like an evening outfit something a little bit more dressed up i'm gonna go for an evening bag i actually thrifted this little purse uh, a long time ago and it's just been a go-to it's just kind of like the most perfect evening bag <laughs> If you guys like watching these recreating Pinterest outfit ideas, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I have so much more exciting fashion content coming for you. And if you want a little bit more frequent daily fashion content from your girl, I am over on Instagram at Katie Nicole Goddess. If you want to give me a follow there, we can be friends on Instagram as well. And yeah, I just post a lot of outfits over there. So it'll be a good spot to see what I'm wearing on a more daily basis. And with all that being said, I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye friends. <laughs>